Welcome back. Today I'd like to talk to you about integration by substitution. And I just want to start right into the theorem. And the theorem says let's have three functions, f, g, and u, all be differentiable functions of x such that f of x is equal to g of u times du dx. In other words, the derivative of u with respect to x. Then if we're trying to integrate f of x uh, with respect to x, then it's the same as, well, just plug in what f of x is. And we can reduce that down to integral of g of u du. Rem Notice now that we're not integrating with respect to x anymore. We're integrating with respect to u. And that is g of u plus c where g is some antiderivative of g. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to reduce a problem. We're trying to make life easier on ourselves. And typically the way that this works out is that you have some interior function and an exterior function. Let me give you a quick example of how this works where we use these u substitutions. So a quick example. Let's say we have the integral of uh, x squared plus 3x plus 5 to the 8th times 2x plus 3 dx. Now, first of all, we could do this by just uh, multiplying x squared plus 3x plus 5 out 8 times and then multiplying by 2x plus 3 and then taking an antiderivative. That's an absolute nightmare, but we could do it. Okay, We don't want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little simpler. And what we're going to say is, okay, is there any function here that uh, its derivative shows up as well? Okay, so in, uh, for example, look at x squared plus 3x plus 5. Its derivative shows up in this problem. What is its derivative? It's 2x plus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a u, what I call a u substitution for the x squared plus 3x plus 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let u be x squared plus 3x plus 5. Then I also need to know what the derivative of that function is. I'm going to call the derivative of that function du. Okay, And the derivative of u, or du, is 2x plus 3 dx. All right. So what I'm going to do is notice, again, come back up here. Maybe I'll grab a different color really quick. Um, okay. So I'm going to circle this guy. x squared plus 3x plus 5. x squared plus 3x plus 5. Let's grab another color really quick here. Um, I've got 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3, dx, dx. And so the red is going to become the red. And the blue is going to become the blue. So what is x squared plus 3x plus 5? That is otherwise known as u. So let's write it that way. So I got the integral of that thing in red is u. But I've got u to the 8th power. And the 2x plus 3 dx, all the blue stuff, 2x plus 3 dx, that is otherwise known as du. So instead of having this big nasty integral, I've reduced it down to the integral of u to the 8th du. And now this is just a simple power rule problem. So I just say, well, that's u to the 9th divided by 9 plus c. Now, that is technically the answer if you want the answer to be in terms of u. I don't. I want the answer to be in terms of x because that's where I started. 
But that's easy to do because what is u? u is x squared plus 3x plus 5. So I just rewrite in terms of u, and I get that it's x squared plus 3x plus 5, because that's u. u is raised to the ninth divided by 9 plus c. And I have <clears throat> my antiderivative. Okay? Uh, so it's really that easy. You look for something that's interior or something that is raised to a power or something that is being signed. And you say, does its derivative show up in some form? If the answer is yes, then that's a good time to use a u substitution to really make your life a lot easier and put the integral into a form that you can actually integrate. This process is called substitution, or often it's called u-substitution. Okay, let's look at some more examples of u-substitution. <clears throat> 